Oh boy. It's pretty good movement. There you go. Oh Ooh. yeah. That looks sturdy. That looks sturdy, bro. That's a pretty decent sized walleye, bro. Big What's walleye. Big walleye. Big walleye. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Hello everyone. Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are up here in the north woods of Wisconsin, and uh, we got a couple buddies with us. We're gonna be doing some walleye fishing. We're out here ice fishing. Big water going for a lot of walleyes. Tonight is about numbers, and we're actually going to be hopefully keeping some fish if we get into them. So go ahead, we'll pan the camera over here. We've got our good buddy Gunner. We got our good buddy Bridge. And of course, behind the camera, we've got Nick. Hello. <laughs> Again, guys, goal for tonight is to get into some walleyes. We've got a beautiful sunset behind us. We've got our big six-man Outbreak 650 shack from Eskimo behind me here. We just got that all set up. We've got one or two more holes to drill. We're going to be fishing out of tip-ups. We might do some jigging in the shack. We'll see. But plan for tonight is just get into a lot of walleyes. So we're going to go ahead, start getting things set up. Today's video, we're going to go through, show you guys the easiest way to get into some northern Wisconsin gold. Let's go do it. Well, we do have to kind of hurry here because it is sunset. We got a few more flags to set up here, but we're going to give you guys just a quick rundown of what we are set up on today. Now on the channel, we like to preach that you guys need to find weed lines. That's what we fish a lot of um, when it comes to ice fishing for walleyes. Now the other spot that is pretty much almost a guarantee you're going to catch at least one walleye in the lake is to find rocks and sand. Now. Go ahead, we are testing out the brand new Ion Alpha for the last couple trips actually we've been using it and this thing is slick. It is a lot better than chiseling, um, so it's very nice. Press of a button, gets her down, super light, super powerful actually and uh, you can probably tell we got a lot more ice. All that snow that we just got actually froze into a snow layer so we almost got like 14 inches of ice up on this specific lake. So go ahead, we also got our Markham Underwater Pursuit HD underwater camera here. Go ahead and turn this on. Uh, we wanted to actually show you guys, we do a terrible job. We tell you what we'd like to set up on, but don't show you. So today we're gonna drop this underwater camera down. Let me go ahead and hit the record button. All right, so if I go ahead, drop it down, this hole is not too deep, probably only like six, seven feet. I drop her down you guys can see that there are a bunch of boulders down there now it is getting dark so it probably doesn't pick it up nearly as good but you can see all the way around us we've got chunk rock which is exactly what we want to be set up on tonight and yeah like brian had said we're setting tip ups all of us guys out here um there's four of us so we got 12 tip ups if i am good at math and yeah we're putting out suckers only what we are set up specifically on today like if you looked at a contour map of this lake is a rocky hump um, to the right of us here we got the main basin of the lake and then right where we're standing is about six seven feet and if you go to the left it uh, i think gets up to like three to five feet all rock and basically we're looking for that transition line where it's like eight to twelve feet of water right when it's rising up onto that hump from the main basin we're trying to set up somewhere right in the middle and uh, we got some flags over here we got some flags behind us and yeah we got to set two more but that is what we are setting up on tonight and i don't know pretty soon here we already caught one but within the next like 15 minutes we should start getting flags and i don't know the rest of the video we are just gonna hopefully be hammering a bunch of walleyes well here we go first one of the evening well take that back we had a couple flags while we were getting like the very first tip up of the night set up and nick actually did pull up one keeper walleye already but this is my first flag sunset's going down behind us here absolutely gorgeous i think the best part about tonight is it's a little bit warmer still not super warm but we've got next to no wind it's the first time i think i've been out this year with no wind it's amazing well we're gonna go ahead see what we've got first one of the evening for me uh, feels like tension yep there we go nice uh, i can't tell yet what's fish it is a fish doesn't feel super big yeah we're we're harvesting yep it could be a nice eater right here oh is that a pike yeah that sure looked like a pike whoa let's try this again <laughs> see if it'll come up through the hole this time Ooh, 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 heads up, Bridge. Here we go. 
So we got a runner. <laughs> we got a runner. Let's see if we can get his beak to come up this time. Here he comes. All right. There we go. Wow, that time you were really nice for us. All right, decent little pike. Not what we're after, but decent little fish. Um, we're using large suckers out here tonight. That's all we're using is anywhere from about three to six inch long suckers. And that one, that one definitely enjoyed it. We uh, just got him unhooked. We are actually going to keep this fish. Um, Gunner really enjoys pickling pike. And uh, yeah, we decided might as well keep it. It's like the perfect size. It's not too big, but also not too small. So um, usually if the fish was, you know, into the 30 inch mark or higher, we would probably just end up sending it back. But this will be a perfect little one to uh, keep and pickle and yeah, bike's delicious. So that's what he wants to do. So we're gonna keep this one. We're gonna get this set back up. We're gonna put another big sucker on and hopefully the next one will not be a pike. Hopefully it'll be a walleye. Holy, look at that thing ripping. Oh, oh this thing's getting it. spooled for sure. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, please stop. Got him. Almost spooled. Feels decent. Yeah? Yeah. Feels good. Feels good. Second flag in the night. Wow. Brandon's getting a workout in. Yeah. Just ran from that last tip up. Wow. Ooh. Oh man, I can't tell if those are head shakes or another pike, but man, I'm hoping walleye. Here we go. The walleye. Walleye, big walleye, big walleye. <laughs> Holy cow! Wow! There we go. Now that's a good way to start our evening there. It's a nice size slot walleye. Calm down, buddy. Show him that camera. Wow. Look at that. Nice, thick, beautiful northern Wisconsin gold. That is awesome. <laughs> wow. I am tired after that one. That was a nice sprint we had there. Beautiful. Beautiful fish, very healthy, very thick fish for not super long fish, but wow. Those are, those are a nice big hole. There we go. Tail wave goodbye. That is exciting. Second walleye of the night, and uh, we're out here for big fish, but we're also out here to get some that are eaters. And for us, typically we're just keeping those fish that are gonna be between that 15 to about 19 and a half inch range. So, but hey, we'll take a fish like that, one that's right around right on the edge of the slot. I didn't want to put a measurement on it. It's still cold out here, so we just got it back right away. Picture and she's gone, so but hey, we like that. We're gonna get her set back up here and see if we can get some more. Oh, oh baby. Oh, now she's cooking. And. I've got a fish. Feels like a walleye. Feels decent. Come on. There we go. Whew. That is the size we're looking for, but my God, look at how fat this thing is. Wow, that is Probably a Probably only plump like 16, water. 17 inches, but wow, that is a fat freaking fish. Oh, hooks out. Actually broke, so I'm gonna have to retie it, but this one uh, definitely is gonna be coming home. Not sure exactly on the size, but uh, you know, compared to the boot, I'm gonna say it's at least 16 and a half. Yeah. We'll get a proper measurement uh, when we get back to the shack, of course. But yeah, nice walleye. This is actually my second keeper of the night. Um, when we get back to the shack, I can show you guys uh, the other walleye that's already frozen if you care about that. But yeah, second walleye for me. Things are looking good. I'm actually uh, starting to get kind of hungry because I haven't had a fish fry in a while. Yeah, none of those were well, what back are we working at the shack. Yeah. You can see that is my other walleye that I caught. Got on our otter uh, box here with our rods and everything. You can see these are both about 17 and a half, 18 inch walleyes. You can tell the difference though between this one and this one. Like this is your average normal 18 inch walleye. This one. That's a chunk. I don't even know why he was eating because he's got plenty of food in him. <laughs> but yeah, I got two out of my three right now. I'm already looking like I'm gonna be limiting out. Uh, we haven't really gotten like a huge flurry like we were expecting. It's kind of just been every couple minutes here. Um, and it's been like different spots. So that's okay. I got to get my headlight and a couple other things actually gathered. Uh, and then we're going to go just sit in the shack and wait for our other flag. Woo wee. Well, it has been a minute guys. Went through quite the lull here. The last, it's probably been over an hour since we have had a tip up. Fish have just kind of stopped biting for a little while here, but 
We got another blinking light. They just said they had a little bit of movement, but now it stopped. Um, just because we're way, way up north and, oh, yeah, it just moved just a little bit more. Here it goes. Oh, there she goes. Because we're way up north, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let Bridge take this one. Bridge hasn't caught anything yet, so Bridge, you can take this if you want. <laughs> We've been going through a little bit of a lull and I figured, you know what, might as well go ahead and let these guys catch some if we're gonna get a couple more just because uh, Nick and I already each had two or three flags each, so give her just a second, see if we get, oh yeah, who's there? See if we get some good movement. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. Didn't no. go far. No. He came off. Oh, he got the minnow. Yeah. Dang it. That's tough. Like I said, went through a little bit of a lull. We did just look at the major and minor times for today. The major actually was from 2.20 to 4.20 it says. So right as we got here basically and started getting everything all set up today, which would explain why Nick caught one before sundown. And then we had a few more right at sundown. So, And uh, yeah, we went through a little bit of a lull. It seems to be accurate. We're getting towards the time where the minor is gonna start tonight. That's supposed to be at about 7.20. And well, we just got a flag finally. So we'll see, we're gonna give it a little bit longer. As I was saying though, we are a little ways from home. We do have to work tomorrow. So I don't know how late we're gonna stay out here. But hopefully we get a couple more flags still this evening. We're gonna get this set back up and head back to the shack while we wait. Interesting. This is a big boy too, I think. Jerky. Oh boy. It's a pretty good movement. There you go. Oh Ooh. yeah. That looks sturdy. That looks sturdy, Bridge. Only took out a couple feet. Hey, hey, watch your hands there, Jim. Alright, here we go. You got a big enough hole there? At the leader. He's right here. Oh, here, kick that oh, hole out a little bit. I got you, I got you. Ready? Let him go down. That's a pretty decent sized walleye as well. Well, the miner is definitely paying off. Oh, yeah. Is, big walleye, big walleye, big walleye. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> Went through the wall thing. and. Look at that guy. Ooh. That is a beauty. Northern Wisconsin walleye. Holy That's cow. some good length in there. Wow. Took a little while to get into him here. We went through, like we said, probably a good hour, hour and a half lull almost. But hey, that's a dandy bridge. Wow. Bringing oh, this guy back home. Get a release, probably like a 27 inch fish. Yeah, don't a, have any way to measure it, but oh, that's a that's, beauty. I think that's a real nice long male. Oh, he's ready. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Tail wave goodbye. Here we go. Nice job. Oh, my hands are a little chilly. <laughs> Froze them together. You know. Hey, you'll have that on these tough jobs. Well, got ourselves another tip up. It's been pretty steady now. For the last 45 minutes haven't had any movement on this one the last couple have been moving but doesn't mean there's not a fish there it could just be sitting cold out here so i'm just gonna go ahead and check this one right away bobber is not far no not a good sign not a good sign at all no minnow either it feels like no minnow's still there hmm. Picked it up and dropped her, eh? Here, well, yeah. Well, I guess uh, this one wasn't as aggressive as Bridges. Just picked her up and dropped her. Probably might be one of the last tip-ups of the night, just because, like Brandon was saying earlier, we do have to work in the morning. And we got a lot of uh, pickup and a lot of driving back. So, yeah, we'll see. We're gonna take down probably the shack first and everything, give these tip ups probably another like 15, 20 minutes. And uh, whatever happens, happens, but that might be the last flag. All right, well, same tip up that uh, the last one that just took it and dropped it is up again. We got everything all packed up and uh, we left this group of tip ups for last and sure enough, it actually went up. I don't even believe it. Last one didn't move a whole lot. We'll see about this one.
found them? Oh wow, this seems really small. Really? <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Well, if that wasn't ever a sign that we should be picking up and leaving, and uh, I don't know what is, because that is by far the smallest wall I have caught all year. It's probably like a 13 incher. I don't even know if it's that, but yeah, it's been slower. Um, obviously Bridge did catch that giant, but if these guys are starting to bite, I don't know if I'm gonna stick around too long with it being as cold as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hook them here, right in the corner of the mouth, probably because I was using a seven inch sucker on this, so I don't really know how he was able to bite, but See you that man. is gonna be the last fish of the night for sure. Uh, we got, what, three more tip-ups to pick up here, and uh, it was a fun night. We caught a decent amount of fish. Bridge just so happened to catch 27 and a half inch walleye, which was one of the bigger uh, walleyes that we've seen come out of this lake, and it was just ironic that it's his first time out. Normally, if you guys are longtime viewers of the channel, Anytime we bring that guy out, he catches a big walleye. If you go back and scroll through, you'll see him in some of the thumbnails, but he's prone to catching, uh, you know, eight, nine pound walleyes, so. I think you're gonna have to come fishing with us more. Yeah, if you know, if work works out. <laughs> big work guy. But yes, I am gonna go ahead, start picking this tip up up. That is gonna be it. We do have two more flags, so maybe a miracle will happen, but most likely you guys will see us back at the truck. Alrighty folks, well we made her back to the vehicle safe and sound. For those of you who are curious, I know we have a lot of you guys ask, how are the ice conditions up north? Before we go, just wanted to say ice conditions are good. We were working with probably about six to seven inches of ice in most places out there with another four or five inches on top of that that is like a slush layer but the slush layer is all locked up i would not say it's safe to drive on most of these lakes up here but smaller recreational vehicles would be good the walk back for us was great we had probably about a half mile trek and it was nice and easy everything was all ice so had a lot of fun out there tonight uh Guys did pretty good. I mean, a group of four of us, we had a couple eaters, a couple nice walleyes to take home. Gunner's got a nice pike to take home. Caught a couple that were right around fringe being in the slot. And then Bridge had that one that was uh, just over 27 and a half, I would say roughly. It was a nice fish. So had a lot of fun out here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave us a thumbs up. It really helps us out and we would really appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's gonna let you know anytime that we post a video in the future. Yeah, had fun out there. Like we said, we wanted to stick to the basics. Typically on a lot of our videos, we're sticking to the weed edges. Tonight, we're in a lake that doesn't have a lot of weed edges, so we're sticking to rock bars. We found it, we found the fish, and we had a lot of fun. So again, if you enjoyed, let us know down in the comment section below. We'll see you on the next one. Tight lines from NBS.